There was a time in the golden age in New York children's television where you could turn on the show TV every day and see an hour of Chuck McCann and an hour of Suki Sales back to Four hours on Sunday. Yes, right. And I don't I, I, I heard about this living in Los Angeles and I was just I wish I could just try to get my parents to move to New York just just for the afternoon every day we can move back in the evening. Uh, <laughs> There's a famous incident you've probably heard when the day after New Year's, Soupy went on his show and he asked the kids, he told the kids, when your parents are asleep, don't make noise, but go, in, go into daddy's wallet and, not make noise, and take out those pictures of presidents and send them to me. And I'll send you a postcard from Hawaii. So this was a huge scandal in New York. And the station felt they had to fire, or at least suspend, the Sufi sales. They called Chuck. The next morning, they called Chuck into the office, the station manager, called Chuck in, and told him he had to take over Sufi's show. Chuck, would you take the story? Yeah. Uh, Soup was my friend, a very close buddy, and Frank De Stasi, who played uh, the pooch, you know. And everything. So I got this call from the manager of the station, who remain nameless. Um, but anyway, he had very short little arms and little hands, and he was quite uh, short. And he came up to me with his finger in my face, and he said, you got to go in and, and fill in for Soupy and apologize. That's why I got really miffed over this. you got to apologize for WNEW. -E I said, uh, look, Mel. <laughs> Am I giving away his name? Anyway, so I said, look, okay, I, I, I can't do this. Uh, he's my buddy, and uh, I'll do the show, but uh, I hate to do that. I said, but uh, I'm under contract here. So he said, yes, you're on the contract. Don't forget it. I want you in that. Uh, you will apologize for, the, for Soapy. So I said, oh, you want me to apologize? I said, okay. So I walk into the station, there's uh, all the guys that were directing Soupy's show and everything, his crew, and they were mine too on other shows, but they were definitely in his corner and standing there, and I was, I felt like an idiot. And I said, ladies and gentlemen, the station has asked me to come in here and apologize to each and every one of you for what Soupy did last night. As you know, he asked you to go into your parents' room. <laughs> <laughs> to take those crumpled dollar bills out of your poor dad's pocket, put them in an envelope, and to send them to Sumi. How terrible. How awful. He made a terrible mistake, and I'm here to rectify it now. Because Soupy forgot to give you the address. <laughs> <laughs> WNEW 205 East 67th Street. 